the very same demonic presence that held them captive desires its home once more Jesus said something very interesting in Matthew chapter 12 verses 43 to 46 he says when an unclean spirit is gone out of a man he walks through dry places seeking rest and he doesn't find any but look what it says in verses 44 it says then he says I will return to my house from whence I came out and when he has come and he finds it empty and swept and garnished then he goes and takes with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter and dwell and the last state of the man is worse than the first what happened in Moses' story is that the same Pharaoh that was in their lives, that was Lord over their lives, even though they received a bit of deliverance in their life, and I say a bit because the breakthrough was not completed. They still had to go through the Red Sea. They still had to go to the other side. They still had to make it to the, to the land flowing with milk and honey. So there was a work that has been started in them but that work wasn't completed and it's the same thing with the believer today because as a believer we can we can accept Jesus Christ we can say the Lord has come in or upon me or whatever we want to say I I felt his presence I felt something leave me I'm no longer depressed I'm no longer suicidal I I have a bit of hope but as you journey through the wilderness of sin as you journey through the wilderness of life you're going to have to face those same demons again the same demons that kept you in bondage are the same demons that are going to knock at your door again 